Well, we've only... no, it's a very sad part of the evening now. We've only got two more songs to do. I thought it was rather sadder than that. I said, we've got two more songs to do. You rotten lot. I said, we better do, I suppose we better do my, my other hit. <laughs> well, I had a few, I had half a dozen hits. I could have done my whole set with hits. I'd have had to drag them out a bit, but... Uh... Anyway, one, one of this, this was my first hit way back in 1961. And uh, it was a song that I, I really liked this song because it was a very sincere tribute to Buddy Holly, which uh, I, I, I really admired at the time. And it was written especially for me because I was Joe Meek's um, British Buddy Holly. I was signed up as the British Buddy Holly by Joe Meek because he had all these sound alikes. He had uh, Danny Rivers was his Elvis and um, oh, Michael Cox was his Ricky Nelson. And, uh, Cliff Bennett was his Jerry Lee. <laughs> but Cliff told him F off. <laughs> He didn't like what he gave him, so I don't, can't, can't blame him. I gave me a load of rubbish as well. Anyway, this was quite a nice song, I thought. And it was actually banned by the BBC on the grounds of bad taste. They said, you can't make money out of somebody who died. And the irony was I never did, because Joe didn't pay me, nor did anybody else, the buggers. But it's a quite a nice song, and I love the guy that wrote it, Jeff Goddard. He was a sweetheart, and a, he was ripped off wholesale as well, as we all were. And uh, so we're going to do this song now, and uh, like it or not, we'd like lots of reverb, please, AK. Got a bit down here, but I've been show me. I used to be swimming in it then. It covers up all the bum notes. That'll do, won't it? Yeah. Where are we? Oh, there we are. That's a oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Oh 